Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. This is just a quick, uh, kind of a tip, kind of a extra kind of thing. Um, you know, I did a video with the Martha Stewart soft gel watercolor acrylic craft paints, and I will link that down below, uh, around here somewhere at the end of the video, but I did not know, and now I do, and I want to share it with you guys. Um, you can dilute this with a lot of water. So if you, let's put, we'll just do, eh, eh, <laughs> come on now. All right. I'm just going to do like a ploop right now. You know what I'm saying? That's just a teeniest bit. And this is going to make like buku. Uh, I'm just going to take some water and just going to dilute it. And I'll show you. See how much water we got in there? Let's stir this up. Okay. And you can see, I mean, it's like, it's like water, literally. Okay. Then take your, uh, what did I do with my brushes? Yeah. I'm going to take the watercolor brush. I'm going to take this auto focus off because that isn't helping anybody. And this is just a watercolor ATC. And I'm not going to wet this right this second. But what I am going to do is dip my brush in. And get some of that paint. And then look. You see how it's, it reacts? It acts more like watercolor. I'm even going to add some more. So... But look at that. Yeah. You can definitely see more of the watercolor properties. Now I'm going to stick a little bit more water in here. Just to thin it out a little bit more. Because this is a little goes a long way. And I'm all about that. All about it. Okay, so stirring it, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna dab off my brush. I'm gonna make sure I get pigment, you know, some of the thing, and dab it off. And now let's go. And you can see it's even lighter, but it depends on the color that you want. You know, but I mean, you're, you look at that. You get two different depending on how much water. So. I love these little cups. Um, you can get these online. You can get them. Where do I get these? The dollar store, maybe. Um, but these are great because, you know, maybe you want to do like an ombre kind of effect or, um, you know, different stages of the color. So maybe you want this to be that light, but then you want a darker so you can kind of go in and put the colors. Um, also, I think what would be great is the containers that you can get either travel size or whatever uh, that come with lids that you can mix up your colors and save them, obviously. Right. Um, but yeah, look how cute. So let's do let's do pink. Let's just try. And I'm going to do less paint. Oh, let me shake it. I'm going to do less. I don't know if you need to shake it or not, but I am. I mean, this is delicious. Just a plop. And that's all she wrote. See? I mean, that's a little bit. Now, before I do the um, water, I'm going to dip this in and just get it straight on. And let's we'll go here. Look how thick that is, how opaque. Still see-through. I mean, still uh, translucent see-through. Listen to me. Still translucent as a watercolor, but you can definitely see it's not necessarily you know, water color like these other ones. But when we add some water, just a little bit, just a little bit. This excites me. These paints excite me anyway, but now mind you, I didn't wipe off my brush, which I should have. Just make sure that you really stir these and get those little uh, that paint done in those little pieces because sometimes little pieces just like to float. I like to call them floaters. But you can see my brush wasn't clean, so I'm not getting exactly the pink that I want. But I'm going to, you know, squeeze it out. 
and then I'm going in. And look at that. That's light. And remember, these dry permanent. Oh, you can't even see that on the camera that well. But you have some down there. But there you go. Now, see, now look, I put too much water. Because it's not even, it's not even going and showing me much. And how do you like that? I wouldn't even have known that. Okay, so that has too much water on it. And I don't want that. So you learn. That's why I like doing videos. So you guys learn. I'm going to put some more paint, which just another ploop. You can barely see it. That's probably all we'll need. Now, <laughs> I shouldn't, I shouldn't tell you my little tip here, my little, what I would do. If I, sometimes I would, <laughs> sometimes I take my acrylic paint. I gotta see better. Sometimes I take my acrylic paint and it might be too thick or I want it a little thinner. And I will add a little bit of Mod Podge to it. And I will do Mod Podge matte if it is a matte. And then obviously I'll do Mod Podge gloss um, if it's a gloss to kind of thin it out a little bit. Um, sometimes I'm very cheap and, um, you know, I want my paint to last a little bit. So sometimes, you know, I will add that in there to kind of thin it out. Or if I thin it out too much, which I have done, I'll add some of the Mod Podge to thicken it up a little bit. So, you know. Take it for what it's worth. That's what I do. All right. Now you can see a little better. Can you see it? It's still light, isn't it? It's crazy. Maybe I'm taking too much off my brush, but I don't want it to be like drippy, you know? Okay, yeah, you can see it a little better. Now you can see as I'm putting the water on here, it's lifting up that one uh, section because it's not all the way dry, but once these are dry, they're acrylic, they're gonna be permanent. And you can definitely see so much darker. Oh, I love blending this with the purple up there, like this really cool, ombre look on this darker oh. well my four minute video turned into something more all right let me just show you how cool this looks and this is great for a uh atc background especially if my light wasn't being such a pain but uh you can see it it's like ombre and my finger right there where my finger was because oh god you're a hot mess anyway it's you know but look, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Oh, gorgeous. I hope you can see it on there. Um, go up a little bit more. And of course, you can add more color or what have you. Now, what I want to do is I want to take a little spray bottle and I'm going to come up here and give it a spray. Now, I should have a, I should have done that with a little bit of alcohol to make it like alcohol inky looking, which I'll do another video of. Yeah, look at that. Oh, oh, look at that. Look how pretty. Except my major flub there with my thumb, which I'm doing here too. But uh, look at that. How pretty. And it kind of gives you those. Um, you know, a little bit of a splattered effect. Now you could put salt. We can do all kinds of playing stuff, which we will, but not in this video. Let me just dry it real quick. And when you're drawing your watercolor, just don't hold it too close because if there is little puddles of color or water, of course, it's going to blow it. Now, as a mixed media artist, I love that because I love whatever I can get uh, to make it look, you know, 
cool. But look at that. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. And like I said, you can see I got my finger there. I got my finger there. I got my finger there. But hey, what are you going to do? Beautiful. Gorgeous. I love it. And like I said, once this is dry and all, it becomes permanent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these sit here overnight. And I'm going to see what they do how they dry, if they dry, if the water evaporates and it goes back to color, just because I want to know, I want to know what I can do with it. And like I said, this is a nice beginning for a back um, ATC card. We can do resist. We can do so many things on here, but this is just a little start. I wanted to show you that, you know, water in this paint down, you get a lot of bang for your buck and it is going to be a lot of fun to play with this way. So that's it. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I love you guys so very much. We are working on progress, not perfection. And leave me a like if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.